but I had a performed at a holiday party this past weekend and thought I'd get me a fancy pen to make me feel good for this feel good show. So we got us a Uniball 207 Plus. So lovely. It's got a nice smooth grip. It's got a good just overall balance and it just looks good. When you write with a good pen, you just feel good. And as Deion Sanders says, when you look good, you play good. When you play good, they pay good. So this Eddie Bauer Henley may not look the best, but this Uniball 207 is getting litty. So the word of the day is C, and today's date is the 7th, 12-7 slash 22. I will try to stay in frame. Excuse me, my friends. Maybe if I zoom out a little bit, that'll help. I'll try to write. I'll try to. I'll try to stay proper. Just try to stay proper. But the name of the game here, we're about to for ten minutes write a new joke using the word C. So feel free to write along with me. Shout out ideas in the live stream that we do on this every single Wednesday. And without further ado, my friends, welcome to the Right Ten Club. Ten minutes on the clock. All right, so 10 minutes, the word of the day is C. So the first thing we like to do is just brainstorm a bunch of different things that come up when you think of the word C. What are associations? What are connections? What just verbal mental vomit? Get all the ideas you have out and we're just brainstorming right now. We're not trying to be funny. We're just trying to get as many ideas out on the page as possible that then we can then structure into a joke. So first things up, C, you know, I mean, there's no wrong idea here as well. Ocean, seaweed. Okay, so seaweed, there could be some sort of play there on like weed weed and seaweed perhaps. Um, ships, ships, Titanic. Seasick. Um, Atlantic Ocean, Gulf of Mexico, um, Bermuda Triangle, Bermuda Triangle could also be a name of seaweed perhaps, you know, but right now we're still just getting ideas out there. Um, Lost at Sea. I know this is kind of angled, but this is how I'm writing. It's a it's a weird, it's an awkward angle here. C Seahawks. So perhaps something with that. Uh, perhaps something with the football team, the Seahawks. Um, let's see. C C C. And you could also do word plays. So it could be C as in S E E, could be C as in C in Espanol. Um, C as in someone's name, C C. Um, and also, when we think of C, what do we think of? Waves. Sandbar, uh, beach. Bottom of the sea. There's also that tuna company. What is it? Chicken of the sea? Um. Hmm. C, C, C. Okay, so we got about seven minutes left as we're brainstorming here. You like to brainstorm the first half of it. But if something strikes you, feel free to run with it. And as I'm looking at what I have here, sea, ocean, seaweed, ships, Titanic, seasick, Atlantic Ocean, Gulf of Mexico, waves, sandbar, surfing? Um, 
common phrases I see you, like for I see, 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 um, I see you, see through you, see sick. So something that's um standing out here. The seaweed thing still feels like there's the most potential for maybe a wordplay there. Lost at sea. Seasick. So they're coming down to about halfway through. Seaweed, it just feels like the obvious choice. But in 10 minutes, our goal here is to not um, overcomplicate it. Our goal is just to get a funny idea out there in 10 minutes, which is easier said than done. So should probably get to work on it. So let's go with the seaweed then. Okay. Let's, let's play with this. Let's play with this premise here because the idea we're trying to go through here is like seaweed and then like weed weed. So we could do some parallels here of like, what are the differences and similarities? Um, green, uh, you smoke, vape, you vape it, you roll it. Not that I know any of these things. Um, green, maybe grow in water. How about salt water? Um, it is edible. Okay, both are edible, huh? So there's something we could maybe play with there of like edible weed weed and edible seaweed. I've seen the seaweed snacks before. What is that? Kush? Loud? So now that we've gotten a few ideas out there, we're trying to find like a funny misdirect. We're trying to find a nice setup punch for this. So, think of weed weed, we think of seaweed. What would be an example of like seaweed? Perhaps it could be something from like a captain, a captain, Captain Crunch. Over here we have Snoop Dogg, so maybe someone named like Captain Snoop. Um. And when we think of sea, maybe sea levels rising. So maybe there's a play with like global warming there. Climate change. Ice. Melting. Dontrell said seaweed wrap. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Seaweed wrap, like you're rolling up uh, seaweed. That's funny. Um, Captain, high at sea, high sea, high noon. All right, as we got about two and a half minutes here. One thing that can help the direction of a joke is also like finding out like you gotta, you gotta solidify, like, what is your premise here? What are you trying to say with this joke? So for this joke, what is my premise? What am I trying to say? And that's a great question. Um, that seaweed is different from weed weed. Um, Studies have shown that seaweed is edible. High tide. High tide is another. Um... Sea turtles. There's another association. Sea turtles. Edible. You can eat both. Maybe there's something there. Legal. Legal. 
So maybe it's illegal to um, forage for seaweed. But I'm not really sure what the premise is. I think I, right now I'm just thinking through seaweed and wee weed. Um, Snoop. Okay, but the last minute, Joel. Let's let's get something out here. Okay, so. Salt water, seaweed, edible. I think there's something with edible there. Um, edibles. Maybe it's um the last edible I ate made me sick. Never eat seaweed. Ooh, or maybe the... The last edible I ate gave me mercury poisoning. Mercury poisoning. Seaweed. All right, all right. In 10 minutes, let's wrap it up here, my friends. Feel free to comment with the jokes you came up with. And the name of the joke writing game is that you write 20 jokes and you maybe keep one of them. And some people may watch this and be like, oh, you idiot, you didn't find comedy gold in 10 minutes. And that's your prerogative that you can um, project your comedic genius through a YouTube video. So good for you for feeling that judgment. But I've been doing comedy over 12 years. I've interviewed over 400 comedians, and I understand the creative process of writing a joke, and that it's not always gonna always. So this one, things I could have done better, really get to a premise quicker. I really just thought of seaweed and then was like, oh, there's probably some funny thing going on there. But at the end of the day, didn't really quite land on anything specific. I mean, the closest we got, the last edible I ate gave me mercury poisoning. That's the last time I eat seaweed or never eat seaweed. Yeah. Or the last edible I ate was too salty. That's the last time I have seaweed. Something like that, you know? So, go forth with your days, my friends. Thank y'all for hanging out and watching this. I hope you found some maybe better jokes than I did today, but this is all part of the writing process. So just know that they're not all gonna all, my friends, but the whole goal is that you show up and you write every single day and get yourself closer to finding that next great joke.